so we're going to put Xander on the spot. This is Xander's car. He talks about roll cages and everything he's doing. But let's just ruin his YouTube content while we're at it. Sounds like a fun Christmas gift. That's Xander in Bay. Xander has no motor or transmission in this car at this point. Xander's motor is about to go to Will at RPG. So I'm sure he'll still be doing a roll cage and everything else. But for now, this motor's headed to RPG. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are here at a familiar place. If you missed the last video, go check it out. I'll link it above. We are back to visit my good friend Alex who drove all the way from New York to pick up his race car. And when I mean race car, this thing is tubular K member, crazy nine inch rear end behind these doors. We're gonna go inside and check it out. It's gonna be a busy day because we're gonna go to Bowling Green, Kentucky, visit another friend of mine, and we're gonna get a first modification to our new daily driver while our Mustang is still in Houston, getting some engine work done and some other goodies. And we will be talking about some of that today in this video. Our plan to move forward, the direction of the car, the build, our own race car, what it means for us. It's gonna be exciting, but I digress. Let's go inside and check out what's going on because this car is also getting a new engine and I'm excited to see it. Let's go. Can't wait to get my Mustang back. But for now, this is it. 2020 Ford Escape three cylinder, still turbo. <laughs> no, it's a wifey's car. She likes it, so. Early in the morning. All right, let's see what magic awaits us behind these doors. What's up? What's up, man? Welcome back. Yeah. Did you get you some sleep? Yeah, if you want to call it that. Little, yeah, man. A little nap ski. Oh, it's already in. Oh, yeah, it was Look in before at... we got here. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. All right. So tons of room. Tons of room to play. Yeah, if you guys missed the last video, like I said, check it out. But tubular cage member, everything is pretty much done up all the way forward to back. Custom roll cage, custom rear end. Everything is, I mean, it's like a $40,000 job and just welding and parts. Yeah, my buddy Alex is, uh, he's not holding back, man. Thousand horsepower on the low side. Yeah, over a thousand will be, something to start with. yeah, something to start with for sure. The, and, and a car that you think is gonna weigh like 2,500 pounds. We're gonna find out soon. So yeah. We're, we're gonna do that today here soon. Ooh, so all right. Get the motor and trans in to kind of give us, you know, a generic weight. Um, obviously you're gonna have like, you know, hot side, cold side, all yeah. that stuff. But we have a majority of the heavy stuff in, so we want to just kind of get a ballpark. So you can you can do the math on what like what a turbo kit adds yeah, and, and all that. Take manifolds, all you know, fluids and, and everything. Like yeah, so it's gonna, it's gonna scare you. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, this this <laughs> site right here is probably gonna happen more than once. <laughs> oh yeah, you're definitely gonna pick up the wheels. Yeah. 100%. Well, the wheel setup's gonna stay the same. I'm gonna get matching front runners. Uh, those would be coated, but we're gonna get some, uh, I think we're gonna do radials. I think I'm gonna make it a radial car. Yeah, there you go. So custom paint, you're going after like a military inspired yes. theme. So everybody that follows you knows you're a military guy. Same yeah. Here. You know, we both came out of the service. We're gonna go with like a matte army green okay. uh, finish on it. And uh, we're gonna pick a charity. So maybe like your shirt here. Almost. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Maybe a little lighter. We got some ideas, but we're gonna uh, pick a charity like Mission 22, something like that. Slap their logo on the door, and then you know, whenever we do like race events for money, yeah, any winnings that we take, we'll like donate proceeds and stuff like that. But I kind of just want to bring awareness to it. Um, That's awesome. And then uh, yeah, get some sponsor logos on the car and stuff, and uh, this thing will be ready to rip for next season. Awesome, man. Look at that. Look at all that room. Just for maintenance, man. Like getting this motor and trans out is gonna take no time at all. Yeah. It's like ridiculous. We're about to put this thing on the scales, and this is kind of exciting because this is always a game we've been playing back and forth. What is it going to weigh? All right, it's on the scales. Let's. Well, oh, we got to get in there. Get in oh, there. yeah, help us. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Take my phone. I don't need that weight. <laughs> All right. Oh, we have a shot at 2235. 2235. Oh. And you weigh 230 pounds. 22. 22, 30, two, three. That's because Alex is moving his fat butt around. But yeah, that's uh, crazy. And we're, that's crazy. Yeah. Scales are going to have a little bit of fluctuation, but 2010. That's nuts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say, this is my lightest car to date. Lightest car I've ever built. Oh. So, dude, that's nuts, man. I didn't think it was going to be that light. I mean, I knew it was going to be light, but. I'm glad we went with that Cromali. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be under two grand without these wheels. Yeah, oh, it will be. 
And it's good though because you're gonna need to lose just a pinch of weight off for the turbo kit and stuff. But otherwise, when I'm looking at the scaling, your percentages are right on point. Chromoly everywhere. Tubular front end. All of this. Yeah, he's gonna have a rocket ship. How's brakes? What's right? What's the cost of one of those? You can touch this and it's like Honda Civic, bro, or some crap. I'm like, <laughs> it's looking, looking all sorts of trailer park right now. Nah, man, it looks seat. good. And honestly, we have room for a turbo. We could put it right here. Oh, you got all the room. Because I can angle it like this and just have the hot side go straight out. Yep. What's up? What are you doing? Yours is a 2021. 2020? Yeah. I'm gonna use it, man, for copyright. <laughs> Was this gonna like cut it to shape? Yep. Bro. So, yeah, so put, put it right forward. Yeah. Escape. There's the window pattern. Wow. Escape. And then we're just slapping it together and cutting it up. This is pretty high tech. See, you can see through, we're good. See him. Oh, yeah. He's got some privacy and it's not super dark. That's fine. That's the 18%. Okay. And it matches really good. This is actually tinning in the back. Gotcha. So if we go and do, you look, that door, this door. Like matches, pretty, yeah, pretty, matches pretty good. Matches really good. I appreciate you doing this. You're very welcome. I gotcha. It, it basically, it yeah, you, scores. The, yeah, the camera's picking it up too. Good deal. It's pretty neat. I've never seen it done like this. So what we do now is we carry it over here to our um, easel. Yep. Put a little, little spray. Put it here to stage it. Well, what this video is all about, we're gonna talk about status of my car. We'll talk about that, where is it? The past couple of videos, if you guys keep track, or we've hinted at this or that, we're in a familiar place with a buddy of mine, Joey, back here. Whistlefish13, got a YouTube channel, Instagram and all that. Give him a follow. He's got a beautiful green 19 Mustang that he races. We are in his business. All links down below in the description. If you're in the Bowling Green, Kentucky area, he's cutting stuff here. He's got these fancy machines. He knows what he's doing. But anyway, about what is the status of my car. So last we left Houston, Texas, Hell Horse Performance, and it was running. Right, made over 1,100 horsepower on a stock gen 3 bottom end so we're gonna put xander on the spot this is xander's car he talks about roll cages and everything he's doing but let's just ruin his youtube content while we're at it sounds like a fun christmas gift that's xander engine bay xander has no motor or transmission in this car at this point xander's motor is about to go to will at rpg so i'm sure he'll still be doing a roll cage and everything else but for now, this motor's headed to RPG. And uh, now it's torn apart, so why? Well, it didn't blow up. We have tons of footage of the thing rolling off of the dyno unhurt and everything. Um, so what's the point of it being apart? We, if you remember, we reused the old heads from the blow up we had like a year and a half, two years ago or whatever. We wanted to check the health on everything. This is very common at the end of a season or two, people take their engines apart to inspect the internals. That's essentially what we are doing, but we're letting RPG handle that. And we are probably going to be building it in some fashion uh, while it's down there. So the car will be off of my channel for I don't know how long. But I wanna let you guys know that Yes, it made, we made some glory hits on the dyno. We made 1100 horsepower with the new Hell Horse Performance Twin Turbo Kit made crazy power that you guys can replicate. But that's good for a hit or two. We all know that it's still in stock gen three. We want to reinforce and build because we want to hammer on this car heavily from here on out. So we're going to build it to withstand uh, more power. And we want to turn up the boost. So we need a block in internals that will be able to hold some power. So 1200, 1300, 1400. Remember the turbo kit that is on my car is rated for 1500 wheel. They're twin 64, 67s. 
you can actually go down in turbo size to like my buddy Speed Addict 731. He's got the comp twin 6365s, which are actually starting to become my favorite. So will I actually sell my 64s? I don't know. They both spool really fast. I just don't know what I want to do yet. But RPG has got my engine. I don't know the status of the dissection yet. Uh, that will be coming in future updates, what they find, future videos, so stay tuned. But that's just kind of the status, the update on my 2019 Mustang GT Twin Turbo car. Where is it? Well, now we know. You guys know that I try to be as transparent and as honest as possible. This is just checking the health of the engine and hopefully the block and all that stuff will be fine, unscarred up. But, you know, should we sleeve it? Should we just go budget? Rods, pistons? We should just leave it. I think most of you guys will agree. Comment down below what you would like to see done with RPG. What kind of spec would you like to see? So, yeah. Hey, love. ASC window tinting. I always get it backwards. So I say ACS. I think I said ACS. ASC. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Links down below. Check them out. All right, we got that fresh window tent. I think the wife will like it. Let's check it out. ASC window tinting. Bowling Green, Kentucky, man. He does a really good job. So, a little sun strip. Perfect. Yeah, the window tent looks good, man. On point. Mo better.